hi students today we are going to discuss the voids and density of the unicell innu nammal discuss cheyan povunnathu voids kale kurichum adu pole thanne unicell inde density e kurichu aanu okay different types of voids nammal padichathana triangular voids octahedral voids tetrahedral voids cubic voids there are different types of voids but the two very important voids are tetrahedral voids and octahedral voids അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഡെൻസിറ്റി ഡെൻസിറ്റിയുമായിട്ട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് മിക്ക വർഷങ്ങളിലും ഒരു ന്യൂമറിക്കൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാറുണ്ട് ചോദിക്കാറുണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സോ ലെറ്റ് എസ് ഡിസ്കസ് ഹൗ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ ഡെൻസിറ്റി ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് വേൾഡ്സ് റിലേറ്റഡ് പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഓക്കെ വൺ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് വേൾഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ടെട്രഹൽ വേൾഡ് വി നോ ദാറ്റ് വെൻ ടെട്രഹൽ വേൾഡ് ഇസ് ഫോമിങ് വെൻ ഫോർ സ്പിയേഴ്സ് ആർ കമ്മിങ് വട്ട് ഇസ് വേൾഡ്സ് ആക്ച്വലി വെൻ പാർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് ആർ ക്ലോസ്ലി പാക്ഡ് ദർ ലിവ് സം എം ടി സ്പേസ് വി ആർ കൺസിഡറിംഗ് ദ പാർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് ആർ സ്പെരിക്കൽ ഒരു ഫുട്ബോൾ ഫുട്ബോൾ എത്ര നിങ്ങൾ അടുത്ത് വെച്ചാലും അതിൻ്റെ ഇടയ്ക്ക് എന്ത് വരും ഗ്യാപ്പ് വരും ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് വാട്ട് വേഡ്സ് എന്നുപോലെ വി ആർ അറേഞ്ചിങ് ദ പാർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് വെൻ ഫോർ പാർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് ആർ കമ്മിങ് ക്ലോസ് ദർ വിൽ ബി എ ഗ്യാപ്പ് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദിസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് വാട്ട് ടെട്രാ ഹെഡ്രൽ വേഡ്സ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ സി ദിസ് ഇസ് വൺ സ്പിയർ ദിസ് ഇസ് അനദർ സ്പിയർ ദിസ് ഇസ് അനദർ വൺ ഓക്കെ നൗ തേർഡ് വൺ മോർ സ്പിയർ ഇസ് കമ്മിങ് അബോ ദിസ് വൺ മോർ സ്പിയർ then this gap is called what tetrahedral void tetrahedral void similarly octahedral void what is octahedral void when six spheres are coming close when six spheres are coming close there will be a, a gap that is three layer below now three particle below now three particle above red one now in between this there is a gap this gap is called octahedral void these are the two important words that we have to study now if n is the number of particle in a crystal or in a unicell the number of octahedral void will be n and number of tetrahedral void will be 2n that means ഒരു യൂണിസെല്ലിൽ എൻ പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒക്ടഹഡൽ വേർഡിൻ്റെ എണ്ണവും എൻ ആയിരിക്കും ടെട്രാഹഡൽ വേർഡിൻ്റെ എണ്ണം ടു എൻ ആയിരിക്കും അതായത് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ടെട്രാഹഡൽ വേർഡ് പെർ ആറ്റം ഓർ പെർ പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ ഈസ് ടു നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ടെട്രാ ഒക്ടാഹഡൽ വേർഡ് പെർ ആറ്റം ഓർ പെർ പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ ഈസ് വാട്ട് വൺ ഓക്കെ അത് എങ്ങനെയാണ് നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം ഒന്ന് കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒന്ന് കാണാം ദിസ് എ ഫേസ് എൻഡേഡ് യൂണിസെൽ okay here you can see particle at eight corners 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and at the center of each face top face bottom face right face left face front back it's a face centered unicell we know that in face centered unicell the total number of particles is what four we already discussed in the previous video total number of particles is four so inside this unicell we should have total number of four octahedral void and eight tetrahedral void because i told you that if n is the number of particle number of tetrahedral void is equal to 2n and number of octahedral void is equal to n here the number of particle n is equal to 4 that is face centered unicell the number of particle is what 4 so the number of tetrahedral void is equal to 8 number of octahedral void is equal to 4 we have to find out the four octahedral void and eight tetrahedral void inside this unicell how let us see see when an octahedral void is getting when an octahedral void is getting when six spheres are coming close there will be a gap in between these spheres that is called uh, octahedral void you just imagine the sphere which i indicate see this sphere one from top one from bottom one from right one from left one from front one from back if all they come together there will be a gap at this center there will be a gap at this center this is called what octahedral void also if you join this if you join this you will get an octahedron octahedron if you join this you will get an octahedron see if you join this like this okay now from top see like this we are joining this top and bottom this is an octahedron you already learned in chemical so you are getting an octahedron so this is an octahedral void we identified one octahedral void now three more octahedral void remaining we have to identify it how listen here okay see if we extend this unicell 
to this side as well as from to front and back top bottom see this will be one top bottom right left now in this unit say one will be here one will be here so this edge will be an of the other word for example see just imagine this is a face sided unicell you consider only this green particle forget about ash particle if you extend this unicell to top bottom left right front back what happens see one top one bottom okay one right one left here one unit cell will be there one front that here will be one one back so how many spheres six spheres that are coming close then this edge center will be a gap or void okay that means this edge center will be a void but this void is not for this unit cell alone this void is shared by how many unit cell one this one one here one here one here total how many four unit cell are sharing this voids similarly this edge center also four unit cells are sharing this voids here total how many edges are there 12 edges are there from 12 edges this unit cell getting one by fourth what octahedral void because this void is shared by four unit cell this unit cell getting only 1 by 4. So 12 into 1 by 4. 12 into 1 by 4. What? 3. 1 at the center. Total 4. That is the edge in the oro center. Lum in the oro unit cylinder. Either unit, I mean, the edge in the oro center. Lum oro void center. So here we have a void. Here also we have a void. Here all edge center we have one void that void also what octahedral void so total how many edge center 12 edge center from all these edge center the contribution towards one unicell is 1 by 4 so total 1 by 4 into 12 is equal to 3 and 1 at the center that is total is what 4 octahedral voids for octahedral void so if we identified all the four octahedral voids because the number of particle in phase centered unicell is what four now inside this we have to find out eight tetrahedral void because the number of particle in phase centered unicell is what four so the number of tetrahedral void will be 2n that is what eight here we have to find out even the eight tetrahedral void and the break you just consider the shaded portion see this is the shaded portion just consider this portion of this unicell that is 1 by 8th of this unicell 1 by 8th of this unicell we know that when tetrahedral void is forming when six spheres i mean four spheres are coming together when four particles are coming together what forming tetrahedral void forming you just consider this shaded part in this shaded part how many particles are there one two three four this one is not belonging to this shaded part because it is back side so total how many particles four particles so when they come close in between there will be a gap that is called a what tetrahedral void similarly in back side if you consider this one will be there this will be there this will be there this also will be there this and this will not be there because it is not front okay so here we will having a tetrahedral void here also we are having a tetrahedral void for example, if you, if you just take this one, only consider green particle. See, take this one by eighth portion, this one by eighth portion, this portion, this portion only. Take this portion, this portion only. Okay, if you take this portion, how many particles? One, two, three, four particles. This one is not. When all these four particles come close, here will be a tetrahedral void. Here also will be a tetrahedral void. Here again, total how many tetrahedral void? Eight tetrahedral void so the total number of particle if n the number of octahedral void is also n number of tetrahedral void is 2n number of tetrahedral void is what 2n okay now normally in a ionic crystal anions are bigger than cations anions are bigger than cations therefore anions occupies in the lattice point and the cation occupies in the voids for example, if you take football and a cricket ball, we have football and cricket ball. Football is bigger than cricket ball. We have to arrange one is just imagine football is anion and cricket ball is what cation. We have to arrange this. Which one we will arrange first? 
cricket ball or football if you arrange a cricket ball in between a small gap will be there in that gap you can't place what football it's okay cricket ball aan adim vekkunengil adin edakkulla gap valare cherutha irikkum aa cherutha cheriya gap il ningal football vekkan pattilla adhe samayathu ningal aadi edu vekkum football if you uh, arrange football first there will be a gap in that gap we can keep what cricket ball the same way if you have an ionic crystal anions normally some exceptions are there i'm saying normal case okay normally anions are what bigger than this bigger anion occupy in the lattice site like fcc bcc or symbol and centered whatever it is okay and in between the gap that is voids that is tetrahedral voids or octahedral void in that voids what occupies cation occupies okay now by knowing the fraction of tetrahedral void and uh, uh, octahedral void occupied by cation we can predict the formula of the compound that is a ionic compound can total cat, uh, octahedral void in dayum tetrahedral void in dayum etra fraction cation occupy cheyadu ennarinjal namaku adinde endu parayan pattum aa compound de formula parayan pattum okay we can do some problem based on this now we can solve a problem in an ionic compound ab b occupies in fcc lattice and a occupy in all octahedral voids predict the formula of the compound okay see we know that b occupies in fcc since b is in fcc b fcc la adagund there are four b atoms in a unicell four b in a unit cell that already we learned now if the number of particle is n the number of octahedral void is also what n so here how many particles four so the number of octahedral void is also four number of octahedral void four now in question you can see a occupy all octahedral void a all octahedral void so total how many octahedral voids four all these four octahedral void occupied by what a so the number of a 4 a in one unit cell 4 a in one unit cell so the in one unit cell how many b 4 b and 4 a so the ratio of a and b is equal to what 4 is to 4 that is 1 is to 1 that is 1 is to 1 so the formula of the compound is what ab formula of the compound ab so okay next we can do one more problem okay in another ionic compound ab b occupy fcc b in what fcc okay therefore how many b 4 b in one unit cell and a occupy 2 by 3 of the tetrahedral void 2 by 3 of the tetrahedral void which one a okay so since 4 b in one unicell total how many tetrahedral void will be there number of particle 4 then tetrahedral void will be 2 into n okay so number of tetrahedral void is what 8 all tetrahedral void is not occupied by what a only 2 by 3 okay so number of a number of a in one unit cell is equal to number of a in one unit cell is equal to 2 by 3 into 8 2 by 3 into 8 number of b 4 number of a 2 by 3 into 8 so the ratio of a is and b is equal to a is what 2 by 3 into 8 is to 4 okay multiply both side with 3 then it will be what 16 is to 12 divide both side with 4 then it will be what 4 is to 
3 then the formula of the compound a4 b3 okay in former problem also b occupies in fcc but a occupy in all octahedral void so the formula becomes what ab in this case here again b occupy in fcc but a occupy 2 by 3rd of the tetrahedral void then formula changed okay so we can predict the formula of the compound by checking the fraction of tetrahedral void or octahedral void occupied by cation normally cation next very important topic that is density of the unit cell how to calculate the density of the unit cell or unit cell density namaku engane calculate cheyam ennadana adutathu okay we know that density rho is equal to mass by volume mass by volume density rho is equal to mass by volume now here in case of unit cell density rho is equal to mass of unit cell divided by volume of unit cell mass of unit cell divided by volume of unit cell it's okay now mass of unit cell we know that number of particles in a unit cell into mass of one particle suppose for example you have a box in that box you have for apple having equal weight consider this box is weightless or box undu a box ne weight onnu illa enna consider cheya adinathu naal equal mass ulla apple undu vicharikka appo oru aalu choikkana ee packet inde weight etriyana what is the weight of this package so what you can say the weight of this packet is equal to number of apple into mass of one apple in the same way here mass of unicell is what number of particles into mass of each particle so number of particle into mass of each particle divided by <coughs> suppose if the unicell is cubic edge length is what a length breadth height all are same so the volume will be what length into breadth into height that is a cube okay clear now now we have to find out the mass of one particle okay mass of one particle see for example suppose if you take silver ag atomic mass is what 108 atomic mass 108 okay we have to find out mass of one particle this 108 is not the mass of one particle it is the mass of one mole of particle this 108 contain how many particle 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 ag atoms are there we have to find out the mass of one ag particle one ag one ag particle have what mass 108 divided by 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 that is atomic mass m divided by what avogadro number then only you will get what mass of one particle mass of one particle okay so rho is equal to what number of particle we can put it as z z value you know if it is fcc 4 bcc 2 symbol 1 you already learned z into mass of one particle is equal to what atomic mass divided by avogadro number divided by volume of unicell is what a cube so it will be what z m divided by n a a cube is equal to rho that is density very 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 important relation okay different types of question may come so in some question tell a question and then they will give the edge length they will mention which type of unit cell they will not mention what is the value of z suppose if they mentioned ccp or fcc z you have to take what for question paper z then in terula unit cell later on the mention jm upon the z in the value of the body centered you have to take z what two now m atomic mass will be provided or sometimes they will mention the atom for example if it is ag you know what atomic mass is what 20 i mean 108 okay similarly avogadro number you know you will get what density 
okay sometimes they will give you what density they will mention the unicell then you will get the z avogadro number you know atomic mass will be provided they will ask edge length then you will get the a cube you have to find out the cube root sometimes they will give you density edge length and atomic mass they will ask what type of unicell it is so what you have to calculate z you have to calculate if you get the value of z 4 you can say it is what face centered unicell if it is 1 you can say it is what symbol unicell so these are the different possible types of problem that may come from this part okay different and then a sadi the love problems and then look at the um each up and have a sign up for the questions in the um chia apo even i'm okay in the other one rearrange it okay suppose if they ask edge length you will get what a cube is equal to what zm divided by n a into rho then you will get a cube you have to find out the edge length then you have to find out the take the cube root now sometimes they may ask z z is equal to what rho into n a into a cube divided by m then you will get what z so okay so these are the different types of question that may come to calculate the edge length to calculate that to find out the type of unicell or sometime to find out the density